Hello, so we are back. Remember this laptop? Not sure if you've seen the video, it's the one which uh, the charging port smoked. So uh, I ordered charging ports, four charging ports, so we can replace the charging port now. Mm -hmm. Let's see how hard it is to replace a USB C port. Great. Now let's take the board out. Now how can we replace this board nicely? Mm -hmm. Now first let's apply some flux. Just a little bit. This nozzle. Mm -hmm. I need a little bit a bigger one. So we are using max temperature 480 degrees, 45% air. You want max temperature when you are taking the port out because uh, of the time, yeah? So you have to spend a little bit of time with the heat on the board. You don't want to keep the heat too long on your board. So we took out the port. Now I can replace it without uh, uh, without mixing the solder, but it's good to use, like, uh, you know, I have my solder wire, which is uh, 190 degrees, the melting temperature, so we can lower the temperature of the solder. Perfect. It's nothing to clean because there you can see it's flux and solder. Like nothing to clean. So with a new port, we are coming here, yeah? I mean, I can only hope it's the same. Like that, yeah. Okay, good. Just a little bit of flux. It's still enough flux here, but just a little bit. Now, we are lowering the temperature 370 let's see 370 uh, it's a little bit too much 360 360 degrees with 360 degrees we should be safe from melting the charging port we can see the solder is getting melted And now the charging port, it's inside. You can spend a little bit more with the heat just to be sure the pins are getting soldered. You keep press the port. Waiting for the solder to cool down. Okay, and now you come with the solder iron and you try to do a better job on the charging port sides yeah because all the pressure when the user it's using uh, it's plugging the charger it's here that's fine that's fine the idea is to make a better job compared with what factory did the factory they will not put a lot of solder because yeah you're right because of the money because of the money so they are saving money from solder that's why every component on the motherboard doesn't have that much solder Perfect. Now, if you use if you use rosin, you can leave it like that because rosin is a good isolator. Or if you want to look nice, you can just clean it.
Hmm? Perfect. Now let's test to see if it's working. How we are testing? Let's plug the charger. Plug in the charger and the meter is coming on. 19 volts, 600, 700 milliamps. That's me, the motherboard started. Now let's bring the laptop and connect the motherboard to the screen. Let's put a few screws uh, at the hinge. Someone asked in the comments, sorry, from where did you buy screws? I mean, this is the box of shame. <laughs> you know, those screws has been forgotten from laptops. <laughs> no one is buying screws. Okay, let's plug the charger. And let's see if it's working. Plug in the charger. We have 800 milliamps on the meter, I can see. 1.2 amps, 1.4. And we have picture. We have picture. Yeah, it's restarting. So it's working great, okay? That's how you replace a charging port, a USB-C charging port. It's not hard, it's not complicated, you just need a little bit of practice. I'll say thank you for watching, like and subscribe if you like the video, and see you on the next one. Bye.